What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I am going to show you how to create a quick forest using PTG in under a few minutes. It's going to be a very easy build to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we need to do is enable the PTG plugin. So let's go up into edit, plugins, and here let's search for procedural, and then we can see that we have the procedural content generation framework, PTG. So let's just go ahead and tick this and click on restart. All right, so the project has restarted. And in my case, what I am going to do is go to file, new level, and create a simple open world template. And now if I go to my player start, we have this really cool kind of landscape created where we can place our PCG and begin with our quick forest. So now that we have the PCG plugin enabled, what we can do is just go to the content browser, right click, and we have a new category called PCG. So let's create a new PCG graph. Now let's call this something as PCG underscore forest and let's open this up. So as you can see, it will contain different nodes that we can, you know, put on together. And it's a bit different from normal blueprints. Now I do have a beginner tutorial on PCG, which I will be leaving in the description just in case you want to learn a bit more uh, in depth, right? The system. But what I need to do is expand this input and we can see that we have information about our landscape and our landscape height. Well, in this case, we only need our landscape height. So we know where we want to go ahead and place our uh, points, right? Along the, the landscape. So in this case, I'm going to get the landscape height and we have a whole bunch of different options that we know we can choose. In this case, if we go to the sampler section, we have this surface sampler and this is the one that we want. This will just generate some points in the surface, okay? So if I now with that just note selected, well not selected, but just add it, save, go back here, and I go a bit into an area where we have, uh, you know, a bit more of uh, mountains and just drag my PCG graph here. Uh, you can see it will automatically expand to be a bit bigger, at, you know, 25. And then I can simply just press on generate and we don't see anything. Why? Well, what we can do is just right click on this and press debug. And now, yes, if I go, we can see the points being generated. And if I move this, it will much get the height of the landscape and accommodate the points. So it will kind of work how it must. So let me place the sun a bit like this. And there we go. So now that we have these points, let's make them a bit more interesting, right? So we can make them a bit more random. In this case, what we can do is press D to stop debugging this, right? And then just go and do a transform points. All right, so transform points. And the first thing that I am going to do is add a bit of a rotation. So for rotation minimum, we can leave it at zero. Uh, actually, we can leave it at minus 360. And then at max, just 360, but positive. And that way now, if I press D on this, and I'm debugging the latest node, you can see that now all the points are kind of twisted, which makes it a bit more dynamic. I can also add some offset to the transform itself. So for example, I could put like minus 10, uh, minus 10, minus 10, and then here 10, 10, and then here minus 10. Uh, so it will kind of put it a bit downwards, right? And we will not have trees coming out of the landscape like floating you know so that's why both are negative in this case and now they have a bit of a one offset right i can also make it for the scale so maybe you know i can make them a bit more bigger in all directions and you can see now we have a bit of randomness which is pretty cool maybe 1.9 1.1 sorry it's a bit better all right so there we go now we have all of our points correctly placed and randomized so it is time to replace with these points with actual meshes right so there's another node that we can use let's press d to stop debugging this transform points node which is going to be as you may know static mesh spawner and this will simply just convert those points into static meshes and we can add all the ones that we want and it will uh, you know create a list and just randomly select them so we can add this thing called a mesh entry and this is basically just adding a new static mesh so if i press ctrl space i can open up my content browser and then just go into my forest pack which i have imported go into meshes and then just go and select trees and then we have two options we have uh, beach and oak so let me just randomly select some of them so in this case let's just begin with this c 
big one all right let me just there we go and then let's close it add another mesh and let's add this uh, medium one here let's close it add another mesh and let's add for example this other medium one right let's add another one which will be something at this sapling add another one which will be something as this one and let's add another one but change this to be on oak and put for example this one and then open this up and change it to be maybe this one over here and then open this up and open like maybe this one, right so add a lot of variety over here and now boom as you can see we indeed have our forest here we're just looking very very cool and you know we have all of our trees randomly applied so i can also like this pcg right to make it a bit bigger by just locking the scale and maybe putting 150 over here and now we have a whole bunch of more trees right <laughs> that's our that's so crazy uh maybe more like 70 sorry 70 that will be a bit better for me let me use zero boom 70 i messed up the scale okay i don't know why but it's changing everything on here so let me manually put the scale like this there we go 17 and that looks pretty cool and we have this dense forest right so it is a maybe too dense so what we can do is before uh you know moving all the points everything like that we can add one thing called the density filter break this connect this in between and we can specialize how many points we want to uh, go through so basically each point will have a certain amount of density right that's why uh, they basically if i press the appear of one color or another one which one is more like one another one is more a zero okay from from one to zero so i just basically uh, you know filtered the ones with different densities and we have now less trees which is a bit nicer right <laughs> for, for our eyes uh, and so on all right so then if we increase this we decrease more of the the trees which is also looking uh, pretty cool so now it is time to also add some more things in the ground so what we can do is another set of um you know let's say samplers right so the only thing i need to do we don't need to do anything but with the output okay i can just copy paste this here connect this to here change the seed of this right so we will not have exactly the same points and then just uh, maybe increase the amount of points that we want. Delete this st static mesh spawner, add a new one, and now we can put another type of foliage, okay? So maybe we can put it this time more like, mm, if we go to meshes, more like plants, right? So let me add a bit of plants over here. There we go. Just, you know, just plants overall. And so on right and then we also have cover which i can add so we can add for example this little branches and this one and so on right and then you can see they have more little things on the ground which uh look pretty cool and you know we have it a bit more uh, expanded let's say now mm, we also uh can add basically grass into this uh you know let's say this environment right so what we can do is first of all increase the density of this even more okay there you go Maybe not so much but like this all right and then another thing that i want to do is to go and just get this right without the static mesh spawner place it here again another seed Delete completely density filter directly to transform points. Add a static mesh spawner, and we can just add basically grass over here. So if we go here, search for grass, we have all of this. So I'm gonna add a bit of grass over here, right? And of course, this is up to you. And whatever type of um you know uh, assets you use of course uh, i think those are bigger grasses right i think we'll do it faster as you can see now we sort of have more grass like this 
and we can just make that a bit bigger or just basically increase the uh, points per square meter so we put it to one as you can see now the the, the points per square meter will basically change as you can see right? if i put to, to zero we have zero of this if i put 80 we have more of them and so on now uh, it won't work if you put like very big numbers because it will filter them okay so we can put maybe something as you know this points and then uh and then that's pretty much it uh, we can put also unbounded where it will fill the whole world but we don't want it right now and we can uh basically just overall put more surface samplers of this and we will even have more of them right just change a bit the seed right then we have more and now we can do the same and you know you can start to create your graphs with different type of uh, you know vegetation and whatever you want to have as you can see right uh, which is pretty pretty cool there we go right then we have some grass and this over here and so on now what i am going to do is also just add the landscape material of the pack so it will basically look a bit better so let me search it i uh, should be over here materials and then uh, cover background ground this one and this uh, landscape over here which is the master i should go there and now with that said after a few seconds i should see my landscape apply and it will just look way nicer i just need to also just go to the landscape options here go to paint and just assign the layers so we will see the forest in this case i think with forest with the first layer uh, it will be more than enough as you can see now we need to have more grass and even because of the landscape material and this just looks way nicer right i can just now go quickly and add a, a post processing um volume right make it infinite stent so go through all the world change the exposure right to only one on one and then just go and increase the direction of light to maybe something as 12 15 20 something like that and now we have a better forest here we go and i can just go save this level as our forest right and then just wait a few seconds and now press play and we have okay well i need to go and press play on here the camera location and there we go now we have this absolutely beautiful forest that we can go and move around and it looks very nice and we made it in a couple of minutes using pcg and of course we can make it even bigger and make it look even nicer and also just add our comments to be something as the main trees then things as the plants and then there's the grass right and that's how we can go ahead and create our own pcgs so that's it guys if you found this video helpful i would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel a lot of unbeaten to five videos had thorough so check them out we know how to get the private files through Patreon or YouTube members. Follow me on my socials and now yes, plus it. Bye.